Hey GQ, we're the Jonas Brothers and we're taking the Brothers Quiz. All right guys, what am I bringing to the family potluck? Oh. Pumpkin pie. Wings. Ooh. Rob's popcorn. Tequila. All those things are, are pretty good, but I would go with the first answer. Pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie. One, do we get points? Yeah. Universally Even large. if it's like July? Yeah, pumpkin pie is the shit. Describe my perfect day off. You start your day by waking up and finding the most bougie, most third wave coffee shop that you can find in whatever city you're in. That's number one. Okay, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut until afterwards because this is a, I need the full answer here. Then you have- an, It's gonna be a long day. Yeah, it's gonna be a like very long workout, day. Workout and you know, like- Have an exceptional brunch. So far, so good. Then you're gonna walk to an art gallery, pop into a store that sells like one item only. But they like, do it really well. But they like make like pencil erasers, but they're exceptional. And then you're gonna go to a second brunch, which is also lunch, because then your friends meet you. All right. Have I had a drink yet? No, that's where you have it. That's where it happens. That's what is it? What am I drinking? You're going to depends Aperol on how late you're, you're going to have an Aperol spritz. Yep. Oh, they beat you to it. So it's a drink. Uh, now that's a point for Nick. You get um, two points for the morning so far. Copy. Okay. okay. And then hopefully there's a great sporting event on that night, which is key for a perfect day. And back at the the hotel for a nightcap before crashing out at 10:45. Missing one important uh, thing. An espresso well, martini. Ah, I didn't think about that. I'll take that too. Yeah, it's another what's, point. What's the thing we missed? Probably going to be doing some gaming as well. Gaming, oh, video yeah. gaming. Video gaming. Nice. Waking game. That's pretty Sounds good. Sounds like a great day. Yeah, I, I want that day. Growing up, which brother got under my skin the most? So both of us. Probably both of us, and an equal amount. Yeah. yeah. I can say if one of us. Growing up? It was oh, actually it was probably you, Joe. Joe. No, no points. No points. Minus point. <laughs> if I had to wear the same outfit for the rest of my life, what would it be? Golf clothes. No, Wrong. you'd wear a, a really Good pair of jeans with an amazing hoodie. Mm. Wrong. All right, so we lose that. What would it be? Uh, I have a rule. You never want to be underdressed. All and right. You can't be underdressed so a tuxedo? in a black, a black suit. Black suit. Okay. Just black suit, white or black shirt. Works in any Go occasion. to the beach, black suit. Yeah, but no one's going to be like, oh, that guy looks incredibly underdressed. Might say I'm overdressed. But never under. But I came prepared. I like to see you working out in a full suit, too. That'd be nice. Who would make me starstruck? Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Correct. Boom. I said it before the question was asked. We knew it was trending yeah. Daniel Craig's direction. What is my favorite song we've made together? And bonus, my least favorite. Your favorite song is Vacation Eyes from the album. Yep. Least favorite is uh, Scandinavia. Mm. No. Boom. <laughs> Got it. Why are you throwing? He said we could throw. Do I have any superstitions? I he said that. When we, we are on a plane, Oh, you yeah. always do this. We're doing that. We all do this. We go to the Matrix. That is like a superstition now that like, you'll do it even when like you're asleep if you feel like a takeoff. Absolutely correct. I also never say if I'm sick. Never say I'm sick because then it's not real. No, because then it is real. You can always, it's all mental until it's not. If I wasn't a musician, what would I be? Probably be an art dealer. A potato farmer. Wow. Well, you're both almost right. I'd be a potato dealer. Potato dealer. Right, I like close. it. How much are these potatoes, bro? <laughs> Half point and a potato for each of them. <laughs> what is my ultimate comfort food? Chicken palm. I would go with a bagel sandwich. That's that's a point for both of them. You get the chicken palm at night, but if, if it's comfort food in the morning, you get a Taylor ham, egg and cheese on a everything bagel. We're gonna do a lightning round. Who's most likely to? I got Joe, Nick, and Kevin, and we will see who is most likely to. Who is the most likely to keep a secret from the group? <laughs> you are on fire. Not everybody needs to know everything. It does directly affect our lives and times. <laughs> <laughs> is this GQ band therapy right now? Yeah. Who is most likely to plan an elaborate date? Yeah. Unanimous. I'm romantic. Most romantic date I ever planned, I rented a boat from here, right across the street actually, and we took it around the city. Who is most likely to be late? Um. I think it's this right here, but they're gonna disagree with me. Yeah, that's what I thought you were gonna say. He's fashionably late though. I'm late for like the time that, you know, we're supposed to be there. But we always know there's a little bit of wiggle room. Right. We were technically late today, so sorry, GQ. Yeah. So yeah, so like it was his, and it's this guy's fault. Oh. Whose fault? I didn't like the pair of pants I wore. He didn't like his pants. I changed the pants. He changed his pants. Threw off Kevin's day. And there you have it. Who's most likely to borrow his brother's stuff? 
Mm. Technically today, Nick's Nick, borrowing my pair, it's pair top of mine. Of He's borrowing a pair of my sunglasses today. But you borrowed my house for two years. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> borrowed. That's true. You kind of did. I gave it back. <laughs> I gave it back. Didn't I? Sunglasses, house, same thing. Fair trade. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> potato. Potato, potato. <laughs> Who is most likely to cry while watching a movie? I mean, Avi. Obviously. Sensitive guy over here. It just goes hand in hand with being awesome. Okay. <laughs> Who's most likely to get in trouble growing up? This is the correct answer, although Joe would blame Kevin for a lot of things. No, no, I was firstborn stuff. You know, like you go through everything first. It's just different. They got away with everything. I just didn't really do like a lot of dumb dumb shit like yeah, you guys did. Yeah. So just not that I got away with it. I just Chose not to do that. Chose not to do that. Well, you dumb. saw what would happen two times in a row. Like yes, this. he learned from our mistakes. Helpful. So thank you. You're welcome. Who is the messiest? Mm. So here's why I think myself. I have a tendency to leave things. Oh, close. that is yeah. true, actually. I was I shocked that you didn't that. say that. No, this pisses me off, actually. And that's, so, notice, I'm working on it. When Kevin stays at my house, he leaves half-drank cans of La Croix everywhere. And it pisses me off. Who is most likely to host an incredible dinner party? Nick. Green oh, wow. Thanks, guys. The so, Indian cuisine at Casa Walter Jopper Jonas is fantastic. Who is most likely to cheat at a board game? Oh, oh my goodness. I know what they're going to say. We're just telling the truth. We're not bullying him, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I just like to win. <laughs> well, I appreciate the at honesty. Any cost. But also, we created a, a, a game while on tour Ugh, it's so good. called Toronto. Can't and, cheat in Toronto. And it's pretty simple. It's a dice game. It's two die. And you basically are trying to roll two fours. Four four. Uh, and you only get eight rolls to get two fours. Somehow some people can magically get 10 rolls. We get to the seventh <laughs> roll and he goes, no, 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 I'm, I'm on, this is, my, this is my sixth roll. It's a money game, honestly. So it's important that there's honesty. Honesty, honesty is important. Apparently I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to take the longest to get ready? If we're talking about today, it was me. Pants the, the pants debacle. Who is most likely to become president? If there's gonna be any of us. I think, I think actually you would be, most likely. You're like the mayor. You are like the mayor. Mayor of Jersey, the whole state. That'd be governor. I know. I think Nick uh, carries himself very yeah. well. Well-spoken. Who's the most likely to get a tattoo on a whim? I was thinking about getting one today. I got about 20 minutes break later. We can probably whip something up. Oh, I gotta add another initial in my hand. I've got a couple, like, I got a couple things that I need to add. Mm. To complete the project. You and I have the arrows. The arrows that point at each other when we stand back to back. Oh yeah. I do have a brother's tattoo. I'm gonna get one that's like me like this in the middle of the two arrows. Who's most likely to spend a month backpacking without telling anyone? All of us have kids now, so we can't just uh, disappear and go backpacking. But if we didn't tell anyone else, but I would say, you know. Yeah. I love to travel. And I do have a lot of great camping backpacks. Who's most likely to eat something off the ground? Oof. How long? Like, are we talking like it's been sitting there, you walk up to it, or like Just five because seconds? he answered like that, I'm gonna go with Kevin. It wouldn't even be a question, I'd say no. The five second rule, sure. But if we're talking about like, you know. So I'm asking specifics. I'm gonna go with you. All right, let's see who is the winner. Clearly, me. I think we all did very well and we had we had good answers. I think so. The lightning round seemed be, to have taken longer than the original round. Yeah, well this will be a lot to unpack in therapy, but we appreciate y'all watching. Thank you, GQ. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye, GQ.